Hi, I'm Jennifer Soames, TBI survivor and advocate, holistic health professional, and author of Head of Hope, a resource and empowerment guide for living and thriving with a traumatic brain injury. Welcome to another episode of the TBI Diaries. And this time, it's conversations from the couch. Today, I decided to do a video just as I am and just being in my truth and my reality and that may resonate with you as well. TBI and fatigue uh, definitely seem to go together. Before my TBI, I had quite a bit of energy. I was at the gym or at the yoga studio by 5.30, 6 a.m. most days and um, had no problem doing all the things that I wanted and needed to do. But since my TBI in 2013, that has changed. And even though I've made a lot of progress and improvement in a lot of areas, the fatigue has definitely been one of those things that's been a lot more challenging. Now, while there are some underlying factors from pituitary damage, which will be another video because I have mentioned that a couple of times in these TBI diaries, but some of those things um, have been addressed and that's been helpful. But then there's this just fatigue that is always there. I wake up tired, which seems like an oxymoron in a bit, but it's just what happens. Um, there's only probably count them on just a few fingers out of a whole year where I actually wake up feeling refreshed or energetic. Today is Friday and I, I work professionally with my clients Monday through Thursday. And even though I absolutely love my work and I love my clients and I am so honored to do the work that I do, but by Friday, it catches up with me. And this is just how it is sometimes. So I share this just because I want you to know that you're not alone. And even though I haven't actually researched really this topic around TBI and fatigue, I do see uh, just posts from different TBI groups and um, other TBI kind of related Facebook pages that neural fatigue is definitely a very real thing and has been researched. There was one graphic that I saw that we have a fifth of really the resource compared to non-brain injured people. And uh, I'd be curious to see where they get that information. But nonetheless, we do fatigue more easily. And for me, I get to do the work that I do four days a week, but then it does take me the three days to just essentially recover from the work week so that I can do it again come Monday. It definitely is a challenge because I miss out on some things and I don't get to do the things that I really want to do because I can barely get off the couch some days. And I don't try to make it anything different. I've come to terms with it for the most part some days more easily than others. But um, this is just a very real thing and just wanted to share it with you because it is part of living with the TBI and it's not just headaches or cognitive issues or things that people often associate with them. So thanks for watching and definitely subscribe to my TBI diaries here on my Head of Hope channel so that you can stay up to date with all of the latest and catch up on ones that you've missed. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you at the next episode.